explaining the short experiment of solometer 1. Now two parts is there for solometer long experiment or short experiment. Now you will get the for one is a long experiment and another is a short experiment. Well, if you get the short experiment of solometer 1, how to write the its observation paper and uh, how to do the calculation, result, everything here I explained here which is not given in a handbook. The first is that the you will get the one board slip that it is written as the to determine the unknown frequency of tuning fork. Determine the unknown frequency. In this type of the set is not given to you. Only the one frequency is given. Okay. And here the paper is attached on it. That's why you can't see the number which is written on this printed on this twinning fork. And you have to find out that number. This twinning fork you are finding the value of it. That's why first is write the aim to determine the unknown frequency of twinning fork and x. This is a short questions S5. Here I am explaining which is on the page number 156. Have you understood Fran? On page number 156 the load slips are given for sonometer 1 and the short experiment number is 5. Next is the A is right here. After that write the apparatus and the diagram for it. After that draw the form, write the formula. Now which formula is needed for it is the unknown frequency formula. What is that unknown frequency formula? Mean NL divided by LX. Now here one more point is advantage is that the, this NL is given already in question. It is given that NL is equal to 8000 hertz per centimeter or any number which is it will be given to you. During the exam NL is value will be given to you and here I show the one example for it that number 8000 hertz centimeter. Now here the frequency is formula is there mean NL upon LX. Then according to it draw the observation table. First will be the frequency. Next is the L1, L2, mean of that reading. Lx is equal to L1 plus L2 divided by 2. Here I show here the one example for it and that reading is a 16. Nx is equal to Nx value, unknown value, L1 when the paper right of it fall down. That time I note down the value of this La that is a 16, L2 is 16, mean value is a 16. Then substitute in above formula Nx is equal to 8000 divided by 16. Already you know that the 8000 divided by 16 used as the 500 and that will become the 500 hertz. And this will represent the value of the unknown frequency Nx is equal to 500 hertz and this is right in a result. Okay, in this way complete the observation table for sonometer 1 experiment. Here only you have to check with the only one winning 4. Check the vibrating length and write here. Okay, you may also note down the two times rings of it and then write here. Okay, and then complete the your journals for it. Thank you.